You know, I have to tell you about a fun thing that happened just now while I was recording these and posting. See, these are recorded for tomorrow, and I was posting uh, today's that were recorded uh, yesterday in later time of day. But the humorous thing was that the bro that shared with me said, uh, you know, if you adjust your contrast and you adjust your light, you know, and you adjust the sound and you adjust this and you adjust that, that, you know, it'd come out pretty good. <laughs> but other than that, great message. And I thought, of all the times that I'd worked in other people's ministries of doing all that, you know, and how I would have to block this light, you know, and how I would have to have the reflective screens over here, and how I would have to diffuse the sound over here, and then I'd adjust, you know, the computer, because I'm just using, you know, kind of an improvised little thingy that, you know, <laughs> my little orbit sphere that I've never used, that, like a mechanic who never works on his own car, well, you know, so to my own house, so I thought, you know, and I laughed because it was so true, everything he said. I mean, there was nothing, you know, he wasn't being critical of it. He was just saying, you know, this would, you know, it would help a lot. And I thought, yeah, it sure would. <laughs> but will I do it? Not. <laughs> because, you know, part of the beauty and joy of God using us and God taking us from where we are today is to improve us and to coordinate in us his plan to take us beyond where we started to a destination where we're going to arrive and when you start from nothing free and you never charge thank god and you never have nor will i then no one ever criticizes or you know is critiquing or worried about the fact that hey it is one of those like they're just making it by the skin of their teeth Oh, sure I am, you know, but the point being is that it's just fun to be able to sit down just like I am, whether in pajamas and, you know, I would love to come out here without my shirt on because with all these hairs, <laughs> it's hot, but, you know, a little propriety is good and a little bit of improvements are always welcome and I plan to, you know, increase the ability on this porch to not be so messed up from the sun and its reflection and maybe record later in the day so that way it comes out better because i know that you know sometimes that bothers people and you know i don't want anything to come between sharing the reality of what we experience together in sharing these devotionals and the fact that you're helping me to read them and that you're getting something out of it <laughs> and that we're both participating in talking with the Lord and having fun with it. So I, I really, you know, was encouraged by everything that he said because I completely agree with him. Every time I review one of these and look at them, you know, and I think, oh boy, <laughs> I start laughing. It's like, well, never going to be accused of being a professional. <laughs> But if God can use simple things, praise the Lord. Uh, I doubt that I'll ever go into a studio in order to do the work of the Lord. I may work in the studio for others, but <laughs> who knows? I'm always open. Speak unto the children of Israel that they go forward. Exodus 14, 15. Imagine, O child of God, if you can, that triumphal march. The excited children restrained from shouting wonder of the perpetual hush of their parents. The most uncontrollable excitement of the women as they found themselves suddenly saved from a fate worse than death. While the men followed or accompanied them ashamed or confounded that they had ever mistrusted God or murmured against Moses. And as you see those mighty walls of water piled by the outstretched hand of the Eternal in response to the faith of a single man, learn what God will do for his own. Dread not any results of implicit obedience to his command. Fear not the angry waters which, in their proud insolence, forbid your progress. 
Above the voice of many waters, the mighty breakers of the sea, the Lord sitteth king forever and ever. A storm is only as the outskirts of his robe, the symptom of his advent, the environment of his presence. Dare to trust him, dare to follow him, and discover that the very forces which barred your progress and threatened your life at his bidding become the materials of which an avenue is made at liberty. So many times I see in my life how obstacles have always been opportunities. It's always been impossible that I would be able to go forward. <laughs> More ways than one. In physical afflictions, when I nearly died regularly, in monetary setbacks, when either for whatever reason, not able to continue in the job I was in, sometimes for illness. I think three times in my life I've been fired, I think. Yeah, only about three times. Probably had, oh, I don't know, 20 or 30 very good jobs. And even in Israel at one time when I remember that there was no medical help for me anywhere except I had to go over to the Arab quarter in order to find a peculiar supply because I'm an iliostomate and only there would they take care of me because you know they didn't have the means that I wasn't I was one of those aliens that was you know had a green card so for me you know it was always fascinating to watch and see how something that started off as though what am I gonna do turned into wow look at God bring it through because in every chance, like when I was in Israel, I met Arab Christians that were so neat, so dynamic, you know, even to this day, you know, if you go there, you'll find that, you know, the Arabic Christian, though not often mentioned, you know, because we're always supporting Israel, you know, is just a, a neat man of God, you know, that they have a peculiar and challenging place to, you know, live and that they have to abide with, you know, sometimes preconceived biases and notions of what people think that, the land ought to be as opposed to what God is doing there and you know being that we look at the circumstances of life and we think that we can't do something just remember this always that what you think you can't do if God is taking you to it when you hit right up against that wall stand still the Lord says and see the salvation I bring when Moses stood still in front of the waters he wasn't told to go forth. He was told to watch and see, and he lifted his hands and the waters parted. And that, I think you'll find, is how God will deal with you. He'll take you to that place, and you will have no other alternative except to look up and cry out to God. But if you trust him, if you trust him, right up to the nth degree at the last minute you may see that that very inability whether it be bills or health or wealth or jobs or blown out speakers or whatever it may be i can't even think of things then god will take that and he'll make it into your way of salvation because there has no temptation taken you or trial or tribulation but such as is common to every man, everyone goes through it. But God is faithful. He will not suffer you to be tempted above that you're able to handle it, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that you would be able to bear it. It's not so much that he's not going to give you something bigger than you can handle, because he will. When the children of Israel stood before the Red Sea and it would not part before them, and they knew that the Pharaoh's chariots were coming to destroy them, that was bigger than they could handle. So they had to turn to someone who was bigger than what they, bigger than the circumstances that they knew was bigger than they could handle. <laughs> so whenever you run into something too big for you, then go to someone who's bigger. <laughs> kind of sounds common sense, but hey, when I was a kid getting beat up, you know, and I was just a little, little turkey, I almost said little snot. <laughs> I was, because I was a little mouthy. When I was a little snot, I used to make friends of big guys, you know, and they used to like me because I'd just follow along with them, you know, and, you know, I was smart, so they kept me around, and they were big and strong, so I kept them around, 
So whenever you find yourself in circumstances that are bigger than you are, turn to your God. Turn to God. Ask Jesus to take care of those circumstances that you cannot handle. And you may find that all of your circumstances, in everything, whether you can handle it or not, the Lord is in them. And he has something unique and special for you to learn from it. So, in this life, as you learn it, and as you walk forward in it, and as you get to become an old man like me, and you sit back in your rocking chair, and you look back on your life, you'll be able to say to everyone else that, yep, the Lord delivered me. He will. Trust him.